sheltered their people through difficulty, provided them rizq and sustenance and gave them an atmosphere that is safe. Ya Rabbi for the sake of their respect for humanity grant them a najat, grant them a salvation, take away bala from this area and put that bala upon those people who were hard to their people, abused their people, tortured their people. Ya Rabbi take away oppression from this earth in a way that only you know how to take away the oppressors and bless those whom are good with their people and take care of their people and are kind and loving to their people. Ya Rabbi make them all under the flag of Sayyidina Mahdi As soon as you make durood al-Sharif and why the durood is such a powerful weapon is because shaitan recites Qur'an. So don't, don't think that you're reciting something and shaitan is running, those are baloney videos. Uh, anybody who's been in an exorcism has seen the shaitans recite Surah Al Yaseen in a qirat that 1400 years old. They don't die and they love Allah they have no problem with Allah They don't like me and you. So they recite, they pray, they have no problem. But Bani Adam and the king of Bani Adam Sayyidina Muhammad no way. They can't and they don't and they won't and because they exist in a falsehood they cannot take the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And the weapon for a believer is durood al-Sharif. And when the durood al-Sharif that's what we said last night when they're filled with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad the Qur'an lights up within their nafas, within their heart. When they recite they can move a mountain with Allah's permission. But for the believer as soon as he makes durood al-Sharif the light of Sayyidina Muhammad comes to be present with that servant. That presence is what fights the shaitan and burns the shaitan. Not our presence, not our ability, not our recitation. Laila anta subhanika inni kuntu min al If you don't admit to yourself that you are zalim, I am a zalim and we have no way of defending ourselves. Then Allah begin to send, La hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi aliyun azeem That the hawla and quwwah of Allah is the madad and support and the power that emanating from the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad As soon as we make durood al-Sharif it begins to push away a sickness. As soon as we're feeling uncomfortable and energies are coming too close to us, showing that we can touch you, we can get close to you. If you leave us we will begin to enter into you. The durood al-Sharif is again the light of Prophet that brings that energy to push it away. Now more than ever it's important to make durood al-Sharif salawatan Sayyidina Muhammad Anybody that's not feeling well, play within the home, the durood al-Sharif, the dar al-Khirat, all these nat sharif, make on your tasbih, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Ali Sayyidina Muhammad. Keep making that and that is the weapon for the believer against shayateen inshaAllah. Where Prophet said about divinity is what God really is. And when we say, Ya Allah, so this is proof the hand of Prophet is the hand of God. Inna ladheena yubayyunaka inna ma yubayyuna Allah, yad Allahi. When Allah says in Holy Qur'an that, take my hand and that my hand is upon your hand, that Allah is giving us a clue that my hand is the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad and I only allowed to share my name with that reality, Habib Allah. Rasul Allah, Nabi Allah, that Allah wants us to understand that my reflection of my divinity, my beauty, my grace emanating upon the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad If you have seen Sayyidina Muhammad you have seen what Allah wants us to see of His Divine lights and beauty. Means everything of that reality is reflecting to us. The obsession for the beloved is left nor the object of the love survived. The only thing that is left is a state of self-consciousness where neither of you nor I exist. 
they teach us how to enter into a world of fana and the difficulty and sadness that we face within the world, constant heartbreak, constant sadness is Allah's way of destroying and bringing down the form so that all that really exists is the heart. In a later verse it will say that Allah came to my garden of my life and everything burned. Everything burned in my garden but all that was spared was one, one leaf was my heart and Allah kept that to be green and blossoming. Means everything be crushed, every type of difficulty, every type of sadness in this way of love because Allah wants all of that to be shattered so that the only green in this garden is this qalb. And this qalb filled with La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah and it can only be nourished by the Muhammadan love. This garden, this heart is attracted to anything that emanates the love of Sayyidina Muhammad it takes its, its, its nourishment like sunshine, it takes its water like a rahmah and only wants to feed from that reality. There is no person on earth that can satisfy it unless it's a Muhammadan light and, and the Muhammadan representatives that nourish this heart. InshaAllah page 48, Khabar al tahayru ishqasun It's Farsi, huh? Khabari tahayru ishqasun How do you guys pronounce it? Yes, 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 something. Inshallah, page 48. Again, follow the words and feel the love of Sayyidina Muhammad as Allah's burning entire earth, this garden. Everything is perishing. But Ya Rabbi, keep our qalb to be hayyu al qayyum and nourished by this love and muhabbat of Sayyidina Muhammad and all that Prophet loves of his Ahlul Bayt, of his Holy Qur'an and his Ashab. That Ya Rabbi fill our hearts with that love and that become the nourishment of our hearts. Mm. And if our body goes, the body goes but at least the heart was blessed and dressed inshaAllah. Mm. Remember that Allah hidden treasure wanting to be known and we say, Ya Rabbi we found you, we found you. <laughs> so all these awliyaullah are, they're not is an expression of showing Allah we found you. That your face is the perfection of beauty. Your personality is the perfection of manners. Your magnificence is the absolute perfection. Lordship is lost in your essence. Mm. Huh? So what was that? Terizate gumme khudai, my gumme khudai. The essence of Allah is the more understanding is hidden in the reality of Prophet light. Mm. Means Allah wants us to search in that light. Your soul is in a mirage moving, moving, moving in a mirage in the heart and in the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad and it doesn't give up and it's finding every beautific light, every beautific action, everything it's seeing on the horizon from the reflection of its heart is a beautific ocean. And they're realizing these beauties, these lights, these fragrances these are all Allah's essences that are reflecting out. So when they're reciting these knots, they're praising Allah Allah. that we found Ya Rabbi, we found the beauty, we found the perfection, we found the fragrance, we found every beautific reality of paradise that is in the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah Anyone wants to communicate, keep that line of communication open. S-T-A-F-F-S-M-C at gmail and any concerns, complaints please address them to Yahya. He has absolutely nothing to do all day long and he's looking for an opportunity to be of service so please aggravate him. It will raise his station higher and higher. So keep your line of communication open inshaAllah, line of support also open and that feel a familiarity with the tariqah and with the shaykh. And that if you have concerns and questions and uh, inshaAllah we'll try to facilitate and answer them as quick as possible. And uh, do we have any questions online for the people who are watching from home? And we go through the whole list and then the brothers explain to me who was uh, making comments, what their concerns were and uh, who wanted du'a inshaAllah that uh, we pray for you and you pray for us. 
that if you're happy with us and Allah will be happy. If you're not happy with us, Allah still will be happy. <laughs> but forgive us. Because <laughs> then you get the people who don't like you and they just take something. But inshaAllah we're, we're all in it together inshaAllah that Prophet be happy when people are happy and Allah is with the jama'ah. When the jama'ah is happy, alhamdulillah Allah is happy. Tonight and uh, last night was a great success, a load of blessings, a lot of uh, emanations and beauty. We pray that Allah accept, Amen. accept all the love and the love for Sayyidina Muhammad and take away bala and take away difficulty to save ourselves, our family, our children, those whom are with us from brothers and sisters and those whom their actions may be weak. That Ya Rabbi save us all and najat and keep us under the umbrella and intercession of Sayyidina Muhammad inshaAllah. Any questions from the or audience? And uh, eventually we will work something out with a, a platform, a learning platform that we're putting together and uh, that will be coming out soon and anyone who has to contact then uh, Yahya will arrange also uh, uh, a form of contact in which people can be more interactive. Mm. Uh, when we do the aura, is the 1500 allowed or silent? And mm. is there any tip, special practices for women during spiritual time? Yeah, during uh, all times, I'll be in the shaitan and bismillahir rahmanir raheem. Don't be too particular on the awrads. Remember, the base of or the basis of the teaching and the door of this teaching. Layla anta subhanika inni kuntu min ad-dhalimeen that I admitted to myself I am an oppressor to myself and as an oppressor I don't believe that the actions I do will actually do anything I'm doing them out of imitation when I truly believe that then I don't have to worry about all these different awrads all these different recitations as if they're going to do anything for me the most important for you is to do the basic awrad from the Naqshbandi Khatams and then be a supporter, build a relationship with the shaykh. It's the shaykh that we'll be doing. The shaykhs will be pulling us and lifting us. Wherever their shaykh is taking them, wherever their shaykh is taking them, all the way up to the connection of the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad they're moving. The magnet that moves all of this is muhabbat. You'll be with whom you love, not by your actions and by your character but by your love and muhabbat. Means not the actions that we do make us to go on this miraj. The real only action is the good character, muhabbat, loyalty and adherence to the way. When I love them, they love me. This love locks on and shoots up as they're going on a mirage into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad at every moment. So the shaykh is lifting and taking everyone on their journey. Now you want to do your basic awrad so that you feel the connection, you feel the inspirations coming and you feel the benefit of being in their rocket ship. You don't want to be a blind passenger in the ship where your eyes are bound and put into the back. He said, no I want to be in, a, in the ship and looking out the window, I want to enjoy this beatific journey to the Lord of Power. So then they begin to teach and do the, the awrads, try the best that you can do to your ability. Whether you're on your cycle or not, keep yourself in wudu, never lose the state of wudu. So don't think with your mind, just listen to the understanding, keep yourself in wudu. Anything that you can do by hifs, you're not allowed to touch the Qur'an by hand. But somebody who's hifs the Qur'an and memorized, they can't shut off their mind. So anything you do by your mind, you're free to recite your awrads, your zikrs, everything that you have to do. Keep yourself in wudu and recite. That is a protection during every type of difficulty. If you lose your state of wudu and do nothing, you will come under severe attack as a result of the the cycle and the cycle opens up for difficulties of negative energy. So highly recommended that keep your state of wudu because kullun amalam bin niyat that you're making intention Ya Rabbi to keep myself in a state of purity. 
and try to do the best that you can. You cannot enter the masjid for the salah but you can do the zikrs and anything that you do by heart and memorize and not touching the Holy Qur'an inshaAllah. This is a brother by the name of Martin Russo. I'm a, I'm a revert to Islam, mm -hmm. new Muslim. How can we be sure this is the way as there are many different groups in Islam? Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> How can you be sure? Because we're not a people by the mind. We are a people by our heart. So this path is for a seeker and the seeker must be hungry to seek the knowledges. So everyone has to review themselves and I a seeker of the way, seeker of realities and a seeker of the sacred knowledges. Because this path is not meant for everyone, you know everyone has a, a flavor and a desire that they want and inshaAllah with their true intention they find what they're looking for. But if it's realities, good character, perfection of character and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad then I recommend that you seek that reality out. And whomever your heart is attracted to, you follow your heart and Allah will lead you according to your intention inshaAllah. We don't have to mention the names too because okay. some of these internet names are bizarre so okay. yeah. But we know who you are, okay. <laughs> but you. <laughs> There's a two, three different people asking about how to manage their time. Manage your time inshaAllah you'll be accountable for your time. So alhamdulillah Mawlana breaks the day into eight, eight, eight. Eight hours of worshipness, eight hours of sleep, eight hours of work and all of them can be under worshipness. Because when you work in the way of Allah and support your family and support your tariq, your way and your faith that becomes immense ibadah because that ibadah is flourishing and nourishing many different realities. When you sleep and you sleep with wudu, you sleep with cleanliness, you sleep with all your du'as that is a, again immense state of worshipness. If you are an oppressor and you sleep even better that is a state of worshipness. The sleep of an oppressor is ibadah. So <laughs> if you're mean go to bed it becomes a, a state of worshipness. And then the other eight was what? Eating? Worshipness, inshaAllah. Try to manage your time to the best that you have. Now everybody has a lot of time <laughs> in their homes so it's best to try to do your zikr, have your tasbih in your hand, try to do the zikr while you're with your family and watching television, try to be soft and everything, try to be moderate and everything and uh, inshaAllah Allah inspire everyone to their level. And again don't be too hard on yourselves but uh, take a, a medium path, a middle way in which to be soft and gentle and continue or consistency. That uh, to be consistent that something is dear to Allah not to take a lot and then dump it but to be consistent and consistent inshaAllah. And uh, how can we prepare for Sayyidina Mahdi? Good character, that's what we said uh, in previous talks that Sayyidina Mahdi is coming to bring muhabbat and love. Every type of bad character is going to be taken away from this earth. Every type of bad character that Allah is not pleased with will be taken through all of Allah's Divine anger that now dressing the earth. That anger is directed towards every type of badness and that will perish and that is false and all falsehood perishes. Those whom represent Sayyidina Mahdi their mission was to spread good character because that would be the attraction of hearts. When you teach people to have good character, good understanding, don't enter into arguments, don't break the heart of someone for it should anger Allah Have a muhabbat and love. Love for Allah love for Sayyidina Muhammad a fellowship, a brotherhood and sisterhood in which you come together and there's no gossiping, backbiting but learning how to have the prophetic character within our lives. All of that was for the training of Sayyidina Mahdi that they would be people of muhabbat and love and Allah's ni'mat would dress them and bless them. And only the blessed can be in that reality 
and enter into that reality. Not the angry people, they'll burn. Not the, the greedy people, not the arrogant people. These are all the characteristics that leave the earth. And we pray that Allah increase in muhabbat and love and good character inshaAllah. InshaAllah bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.